Hello, I'm Naomi. I make videos on books, whether reading or writing them, and today I wanted to do the re-read, rewrite, or burn challenge, where you pick three books and you have to decide which one you would read, which one or which one you would reread, which one you would rewrite or have the author rewrite, or which one you would burn. And so I wrote down some names of books and I have to choose three and that's how this goes. Oh, Alright, so the first one is Red Queen. <laughs> Harry Potter. Potter. Just finished rereading the whole series the other day, the second time. And by Darkness Hid. Ooh. Should be sitting to the side of my bookcase, not in front of it. Alright. <sighs> Is it mean if I say that I would burn Red Queen? I mean, I had to burn one of them. It was fine. It was fun. I own the second one. I haven't read it yet, but I own it. I plan to continue the series. But it's not a favorite, and both of these are favorites. Oh, man. Which one? I mean, you write or reread. It has been a long time since I've reread this. I've only read through the whole series once. I just finished rereading Harry Potter. I feel like I have to say I'll reread Harry Potter because it's a classic. But I also can't think of anything in the book that I would want Joe Williamson to change. Okay. I'll reread Harry Potter and this is really good and I don't remember anything that I would want to change. Oh! I started rereading it a couple of years ago and I stopped on page 128. I should, I should really continue rereading it or restart because it really is one of my favorites. It is the book that got me into fantasy, so why am I going to rewrite it? But anyway, it's just this was, I think, her debut, so she could probably like go through and tweak little things and like just rewrite little parts using the skills that she has now. If she didn't have them, is that cheating if I say that? That's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna go through. But really good. And I don't hate this book. I just had to burn one. And well. Alright. Next round. Alright. Ooh, okay, a time to die. Bye. Medium brand is super good. Oh no, Romanoff. Also by Nadine Brandis. An ink heart. Okay, I was afraid it was going to be all Nadine Brandis books and I was not prepared for that. Okay, so again, I think I'm going to have to burn ink heart. I know it's super popular. I even had a movie which is different from the book. Um, and again, I've only read this once. And I don't really remember. I bought it at Goodwill so I could reread it. And I plan to. But it does not stand out in my mind as one of my favorites. And since Nadine Brandes is one of my favorite authors, I'm gonna have to burn this. I'm sorry. I think I would have to rewrite A Time to Die or have her rewrite it. I'm not saying in high school or her level. Um, it was really 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 good and whenever people talk about cliffhangers I think of her and I think of this book because it has the worst cliffhanger ever but it's a really good book it's so good but there are parts where I think like the beginning I feel like it could go a little bit faster it was a little bit slow and 
sometimes that happens and then I mean I stuck with it and I finished it and it was so good but that's that's one of the things that I remember like it could have gone on just a little bit faster I'm sorry but it was really good and Romanov I would reread Romanov oh it's so good oh, it's I think my favorite Nadine Brando's book it's so so good. I mean, I know I said at times that I was really good, but if you could only read one Nadine Brangie's book, read Romanov. Oh my goodness, this book. Uh. All right. Oops, two. Okay. Selection. Oh, let's. I did not plan very well how or where I was gonna sit. I want to say these were a cover buy, but they were actually a gift. But I'm pretty sure my sister got them for me because of the beautiful covers, which I am totally okay with because they are pretty and uh, they're really fun. <sighs> um, Cinder. Also really good. Got this one at Goodwill as well. And look how it, like the spine is all fine. It's in really good condition compared to the other one. It was only a dollar. So that's fun. The Hunger Games. Ooh, where did I put that? Alright. Oh, oh man. Oh, mm. This one's difficult. I mean other first one was difficult, the second one set was pretty easy, but this one, I feel like none of these were like all time absolute favorites, so, if I can, I'm gonna bring an e-cart. I feel like, I feel like I'm going to burn Cinder because I don't remember it super well so I won't really know what I'm missing out on if I burn it. Like it was good and I enjoyed it and I have, I have and read the second book as well. Oh no, I don't want to burn this one. I think, changing my mind. Uh, do I want to burn the Hunger Games though? Like, The Hunger Games, I reread it recently, or no, like three years ago, <laughs> and I really liked it. It was really fun, but I noticed that I felt like Katniss didn't really have a personality. I felt like all the decisions she was making, she was making to further the plot, like it wouldn't, they weren't the natural decisions that she would actually be making. But it was also, this was like one of the first books that like the first book series that I got really into and the first book series that became really big when I was younger like because Harry Potter was all before me and so I feel like The Hunger Games was one of the first series that came out and like the books and the movies and it was a really big deal and I was like around for it I was around for part of Harry Potter anyway I don't know what year that was born uh, oh man Okay. Okay. I th maybe I have to burn the selection. I know, I feel like this has been going through each one. But maybe I'll burn this one. It was good. It was really fun. It was nice and fluffy. If someone wants, like, this, and I don't mean this in, as an insulting way because I really enjoy the book. The, the series, or at least the, the first three, the trilogy, um, like, it's just so light and fluffy, you can read it very quickly, you're not hurting your brain at all, you're not learning, you're not stressed, it's just girls in pretty dresses and a love story, and that's, like, I like it because it's so light and fluffy, 
Um, but I think I'm gonna have to burn it, and I'm making the decision. And then I, I guess I'll maybe I'll rewrite the. I can't. I can't have the Hunger Games be rewritten. But I also don't want to rewrite Cinder, or have Cinder be rewritten. I'm not saying that I would do it. The author. I would be like, here are my suggestions because obviously I know things. Um. Uh, see, I feel like don't remember Cinder enough to know what parts I would want to be rewritten. So I need to read it. But is it fair to say, yeah, I can have whatever opinions I want. Uh, Hunger Games, really fun, really enjoyed it, but I would want, I would, if Suzanne Collins asked for my opinion, I probably would not tell her my whole opinion. But if we were friends, and she asked, and she was like, what do you think I could do better in The Hunger Games? I would say, I just feel like maybe Katniss could be a little bit more likable, a little bit more human, a little bit more well-rounded. It was a good book. And then I reread Cinder. That was difficult. That way. All right, and then... Oh, okay. Twilight. Cool. Twilight. See the painted edges? I painted these edges and red queens. Did I, I did them black. I didn't want to do all of them red because I just done the whole Twilight series. Anyway, I plan to do video painting books soon. But anyway, look at the pretty edges. Twilight, Narnia, oh, so I just did the first book, but the same for every other series that I did, it's because if you don't have the first book, I haven't read these recently, dusty, so this symbolizes all of Narnia, because if you don't have the first book, you don't have the rest of the series, and Fox, I need it. Okay, so I'm going to reread Fox because she's one of my favorite authors and this is probably the book that I remember the least and I just, I know it's going to be really good and I know I really liked it the first time. I think I've given all, or all the books, Nadine Brandy's books that I talked about today, all five stars. Um, so I would reread Fox. And then, um, I can't think of anything that I would really want to change in the Chronicles of Narnia. Maybe make it a little bit longer. I can't, but I can't burn it. I didn't think about this one. I just jumped in and I was like, I need to reread Fox. But I also need to reread the Chronicles of Narnia. Um, all these pictures? Yeah, I can't think of anything that I would want to change, but maybe, maybe a little bit longer. Is that cheating? I can do what I want. And then I don't hate Twilight, but I also don't love it, and so it gets burned, and I'm sorry. But, I mean, I have it and the whole series, or at least some of the books. There's, like, bonus books that I don't have. Well, I don't have them all, but anyway. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. And so it's getting burned. Oh, is this recording? Yes, okay. I got this at Goodwill and I do plan to reread it. Oh, they're one of my best purchases. I got all seven books for like three dollars and fifty cents. These paperbacks are usually a dollar and I was like, the whole Chronicles of Narnia series for seven dollars is a really good deal and I can't pass that up. And then when they scan them, they were only fifty cents because they're technically children's books. And when they asked me, they were like, oh, I don't know, are they children's books or not? I didn't want to be like, well, technically they're children's books because I didn't want them to think that I was trying to scam them. And I was completely blind.
buy them for a dollar each. But anyway, I thought the purchase cents each. I was, ended up being late for class because I was at Goodwill buying books. But it was absolutely worth it. No regrets. Anyway.